ललिता सहस्रा एरपाल मंडल प्रकाशन डिस्ट्रिक्ट बैक विथ ये सेवेंथ ग्रेड इंग्लिश लेसन एक्सपर्ट डिटेक्टिव इन द थर्ड मॉड्यूल ऑफ द लेसन वी हैव ए सिंपल शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट पोम रिटर्न बाय मॉड रूबिंग इन द पोम द पोइट हैज बींग अटेंशन टू योर फैन इन हर रूम वॉट इज द फैन सेंग डू यू ऑन अर रूम डू यू ऑन अर रिसाइड द पोम Before we recite the poem, let's take a glance on the overview of the lesson. Children, let's move to the overview of the lesson. Number one, speaking. Number two, writing. Number three, poem. Number four, working with poem. Dear children. Let's move on to the learning objectives now. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to know number one, develop conversation to play detectives with each other by making use of set of questions provided in the textbook. Number two, experiment to conduct a survey, study the questionnaire, and discuss the points in groups. Number three, recite or practice the poem from memory, paying attention to the rhyming scheme and rhythm. Number four, explain the transformation of the fan after it was oiled and what this represents. Number five, justify the idea of giving voices to inanimate objects in literature. and what it adds to the poem compares the fans shatter to the sound of other household appliances children let's move on to the speaking skills now number 1 play detectives with each other find a person in your class or some other acquaintance to speak to find out the answer to the questions given below Be careful to ask your questions in a polite and inoffensive way. Do not force the person to answer you. Then allow the person to ask you the same question. Questions are like this. Number 1. Name. Number 2. What newspapers or magazines does the person read? Number 3. How long has the person lived at the current address number 4 what does she or he do during the day the daily routine number 5 what do neighbors and friends say about the person number 6 who are his or her visitors and what are his or her eating habits you can ask a few other about this number 7 what do you think about the person let's start a moral conversation hi my name is hainu and what's your name hello oh what a sweet name My name is Shadli. How long since you are living at the current address? I am living from three years. And what about you? I am living from two months only. What is your daily routine? I used to go to office. After coming home, I take rest. I used to go to cleaning, and after onwards. I do gardening and cook. Who are your visitors? Oh, what a nice routine. My visitors are my sister and my mom. And what about your visitors? My friends and colleagues used to visit my home at most times. And which newspaper do you wish to read? I used to read Deccan Chronicle early in the morning. And what about you? Oh okay 
I read Hindi. What are your eating habits? I love spicy food. And what you love to eat? I am fond of eating sweets. Okay, nice meeting you. Let's move to the writing. Question number one. Who do you think Mr. Nath is? Write a paragraph or two about him. Answer. I think Mr. Nath is just an ordinary man who is probably not eating well. He might be an introvert which is why he does not have friends and visitors. He might enjoy being alone more than having the company of many others. He is very lean because he does not take meals properly. He is not even particular about the food he eats. He just needs two chapadis, dal and a vegetable. He consults Nishad's mother who is a doctor. This means that he has some ailment. That can be another reason why he prefers to be alone. He also has scars on his face making people think he is a crook. But the scars might be from some accident. The visitor who comes every Sunday might be a family member who ensures that Mr. Nath is keeping well. Question number 2. What else do you think Nishad and Maya will find out about him? How? Will they ever be friends? Think about these questions and write a paragraph or two to continue the story. The answer is, I think Nishad and Maya will find out that Mr. Nath is a good person and an introvert. They might even get to know that Mr. Nath is working from home because he does not keep well. That is the reason he prefers being at home and not having visitors. They might become friends later. Especially Nishad can be a good friend to him because he was in his favor from the beginning. Maya would have regretted to have doubted him to be a criminal. Let's move on to the ending part. Conducting a survey. Have you ever conducted a survey? Say yes, no or I don't know. To conduct survey, there are four steps. Step 1. Study the following questionnaire and discuss the points in small group. A home is a place where you feel secure and happy. You can be alone. You can keep all your things. You can bring up a family. You can invite friends or relatives. You can make a noise if you want to. You can do whatever you like. You are at peace. You can live, look after your parents. You can receive and give love. You will discuss with your friends and fill the column with yes, no or I don't know and show to your teacher. In speaking, step number 2. Collect information. Contact people in the school or in your locality and put these questions to them. Tick mark the answers in the relevant column. Step number 3. Analyze the results in the group by asking. How many people think that a home is a place 
where you feel secure and happy another question how many people think that a home isn't a place where you feel secure and happy mystery of the talking fan is there a ceiling fan in the room where you are sitting now is the fan quiet or noisy if it is noisy you may be sure it is a distant relative of the talking fan in the poem which you are going to read once there was a talking fan electrical his charter once there was a talking fan electrical his charter i couldn't quite hear what he said and i hope it doesn't matter i couldn't quite hear what he said and i hope it doesn't matter because one day somebody oiled his little rolling motor because one day somebody oiled his little rolling motor and all the mystery was spoiled he ran as still as water and all the mystery was spoiled he ran as still as water children do you like the poem okay let's recite after me once there was a talking fan electrical his charter once there was a talking fan electrical his charter i couldn't quite hear what he said and i hope it doesn't matter i couldn't quite hear what he said and i hope it doesn't matter because one day somebody oiled his little rolling motor because one day somebody oiled his little rolling motor and all the mystery was spoiled he ran as still as water and all the mystery was spoiled He ran as still as water. Children, let's move on to the comprehension on poem. Question number one: Name the poet of the poem. Option A: Maud Rubin. Option B: M. B. Armstrong. Option C: Michael Rosen. Option D: Kit Wright. As children, your answer is correct. The correct answer is option A. Mount Rubin. Question number two: The poet describes a option A ghost, option B talking fan, option C talking cycle, option D man of the above. Yes, children, your answer is correct. The answer is option B talking fan. Question number three. electrical his charter he stands for option a the mission option b the workman option c the cycle option d the fan as children your answer is correct the correct answer is option d the fan question number 4 the language of fan was option a simple option b mysterious option c not understood by the poet option d both b and c as children your answer is correct the answer is option d both b and c Let's know about poetess of the poem. Mystery of the Talking Fan by Maud Rubin. Maud Rubin is an American poetess. She has written more than hundred poems. She has won many awards as well. She written about small daily routine things like fans, lights, etc. Let's learn the difficult words from the poem with meanings. Distant means far away 
from someone chatter means informal talk to murmur mystery means something strange or unknown as water means as quiet as water whirling means to turn or rotate rapidly spoiled means to lose a useful quality children let's move on to the comprehension now question number 1 the word whirling means option a heading option b encircling option c rotating option d world as children your answer is correct the correct answer is option c rotating question number 2 what are the synonyms of the mystery option a riddle option b hugger mugger option c secret option d all of the above as children your answer is correct the correct answer is option d all of the above now children let's move on to the working with the poem question number 1 fans don't talk but it is possible to imagine that they do what is it then that sounds like the fans chatter yes children your answer is correct the answer is the noise produced by the fans motor with less oil sounds like the fans chatter question number 2 complete the following sentences number 1 the chatter is electrical because the correct answer is the chatter is electrical because the noise is being produced by the electrical motor of the fan question number 2 complete the following sentences number 2 it is mysterious because yes children your answer is correct it is mysterious because we cannot understand what the fan is speaking question number 3 what do you think the talking fan was demanding yes children your answer is correct the correct answer is the talking fan was demanding some oil it was seeking the attention of the people at home to put oil into the motors once it got oiling it become silent question number 4 how does an electric fan manage to throw so much air when it is switched on very good children your answer is correct the correct answer is an electric fan manages to throw so much air when it is switched on as it has an electric motor which rotates and makes the three blades of the fan move round and round at a specified speed children let's move on to the working with the poem question number 5 Is there a talking fan in your house? Create a dialogue between the fan and a mechanic. Children, let's move on to the working with the poem now. Hey, I just realized that you are a talking fan. Oh, thank God. Yes, I do talk. It's just that people don't listen. Oh, I will put the oil in the motor now. Thank you so much. Now let's move to the comprehension. 
नंबर वन चूज द राइमिंग पेर ऑप्शन ए चार्टर माटर ऑप्शन बी ऑयलिंग वॉटर ऑप्शन सी अटेंशन टॉक ऑप्शन डी फ्रेंड एनिमी वेरी गुड चिल्ड्रन युअर आंसर इज करेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए चार्टर माटर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू डज द फैन मेक नॉइस ऑफ द ऑयलिंग ऑप्शन ए एस ऑप्शन बी नो ऑप्शन सी मे बी ऑप्शन डी नॉट ऑफ द एबो एस चिल्ड्रन युअर आंसर इज करेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी नो क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री What do you understand by charter? Option A, to stay silent. Option B, to discuss important things. Option C, nonsense talk. Option D, none of the above. Very nice, children. Your answer is correct. The correct answer is option C, nonsense talk. Question number four. The fan runs as still as. Option A, train. Option B, wind. Option C, water. Option D, horse. Very nice, children. Your answer is correct. The correct answer is option C, water. Question number five. What was the fan saying to the poet? Option A. The poet was unable to understand. Option B. The fan was talking about his shattering. Option C. It was describing the poet's appearance. Option D. None of the above. Yes, children. Your answer is correct. The answer is option A. the poet was unable to understand question number 6 what treatment was given to the chattering fan option a his whirling motor was changed option b he was replaced by a new fan option c his motor was oiled option d all of the above as children your answer is correct the correct answer is option c his motor was oiled seventh question the silent running of the fan is compared to option a a fast runner option b silent blowing of the a option c silent flowing of the water option d all of these very good children your answer is correct option c silent following of the water question number 8 the talking fan was demanding option a oiling option b conversation option c attention option d friendship very nice children your answer is correct option a oiling question number 9 if the electrical current is stopped option a the charter will begin option b the fan's charter will stop option c people will face problems option d both a and b very nice children your answer is absolutely correct option b the fan's charter will stop question number 10 what attracted poet's attention to the fan option a charter made by the fan option b the cool air given by the fan option c silence in the room option d dust on the fan 
as children your answer is correct the correct answer is option a charter made by the fan children let's move on to the summary now in the poem the poem beautifully captures the movement of the much familiar and mundane objects around us which in today's time are a very essential part of our existence the poem the poetess draws our attention to a noisy electric fan the poetess imagine that fan was trying to talk and tries to understand the mystery of its sounds the speaker is a young and innocent child he talks about a talking fan whose chatter was electrical the child is unable to understand what the fan is trying to say however it doesn't matter because one day someone put oil into its little whirling motor and whole mystery was spoiled now the fan started running as still and quiet as water in other words a child finds a fan making too much noise he becomes curious and tries to understand what the fan is trying to say but his struggle is ruined because someone puts oil into fan's motor and it runs as silent as water